At a time when more kids are getting sick, there are fewer pediatric hospital beds available to treat them. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily found out what this means for families and how everyone can help. It has been a long and draining ultra marathon for us. Dr. Rahul Karani is the CEO of the Minnesota Hospital Association. He says staffing is just one piece contributing to limited pediatric beds in the state. They are tight. It's because we are seeing high medical volumes. We are seeing, uh, you know, um, viruses in our community. Elm Health Fairview notes respiratory illnesses, winter viruses like RSV, and mental health crises as factors that are keeping its system extremely busy. Gillette Children's Specialty Hospital has accepted pediatric transfers in recent months when they can due to lack of beds elsewhere. Children's Hospital will only say they have beds available for patients who need them. Dr. Karani says COVID adds to it, along with delayed procedures, and capacity is constantly in flux. And he warns patients with chronic illness should be especially mindful during this crunch. Make sure that they are uh, seeking care, staying uh, connected with the primary care provider, and following their guidance. He says there are things people can do to lessen the burden on the overall system. Let's do what the CDC and the Department of Health is telling us. Uh, let's make sure we wear the masks, um, we socially distance, stay home if you're sick, if you're eligible, get the vaccine. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. We're told there are triage plans in place in case of an increase in pediatric patients. At times, it may mean a longer wait in the ER.